This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, I might be jumping the gun a little bit, but I'm going to fish a Texas rig craw. I measured the water temperature this morning, 57 degrees, still not warming up. Anyway, let's get rigged up, see if I can even get a bite. I'm just looking for those bass who might be coming shallow, just starting to consider bedding. So far, I ain't found jack sh Water's too cold, 57. It's been in the 50s now for like four weeks. Look at this right here. That is from a crayfish. There's another one right here. Crayfish. I'm on the right track. Well, nothing. Not even a bite. I didn't even see a bluegill, so... Alright, we're switching it up to a gulp minnow. Been using these a bunch so far this season. I'm fishing that under a float. We'll start out at about a foot and a half, two feet. We'll adjust it if we have to. Holy sun, so much glare, I can't even see my bobber. Doesn't matter, I'm probably not getting a bite anyway. Well, I tried somewhere new. I tried to catch a bass. I didn't catch jack sh Let's see if we can salvage the day, catch something over at Skeletor Park. Look at this big male turkey in the road. He's all puffed out. Those look like some young males. First spot I went, no one there. Over here at Skeletor Park. Already people fishing at the spot I want. Fishing my style too, bobber and a jig. I wonder if they watch my videos. I guess I'll fish over here off the dock. I probably won't catch as many because the weed line is where they're usually at. But I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Look at all that trash. Sounds like they're leaving. They are leaving. Maybe I can go try my other spot now. Well, they totally left. All right, let's go try down there by the weed line. Skeletor Park. I didn't see him catch anything over here. I'm a little bit concerned. But I'm awesome, so I know I can catch something. I saw a shed. That wasn't a shad, was it? It's something chasing the shad. Let's see. Let's see if I can get that fish. Probably a yellow bass. fish. <laughs> I was so anxious to get them. My first fish of the day yanked them right out of the water. <laughs> Airborne bluegill. Well, he's all right. 
there we go. About a six inch bluegill here. I'll take them. What is going on guys? I'm Rush, this is Little Miss Rowdy Ronda Rousey for Rush Forest Outdoors, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Always keep it realistic. First fish of the day, six inch bluegill. Hopefully as the sun warms up this water, the fish will become more active. There we go. That feels good. What is this? Oh, what is this? Good fighter. Is it a yellow bass? Yeah, nice one too. Look at this jumbo yellow bass. Easy. He's not gonna, he's not gonna calm down for me. Let's get a measurement on him just to see. Nine inches, nice and tall, nice and big. Good looking yellow bass here. Let's let him go. So I'm happy with that, big yellow bass. Let's get a few more. Come on, more yellow bass. Fish. Doesn't feel very big. Swimming right at me. Just a little bluegill here. Pale. Pale colors on this one. Well, I don't know if those people who were here before me were catching anything, but I'm getting a few. My bobber ain't sitting right. Tangled. Fish. All right, what do we got? Feels decent. Scrappy bluegill. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, nice color. Not laying flat. About a seven incher here. All right, I'm getting a few. Here we go. Oh, that one came off. Good fight. That fish knew what to do. There's a little bit better of a fish. What is this? Got a crappie here. There we go. Compare it to my hand. Got about a nine and a half inch crappie. Looking good. This is Craig from Fishing with Lord Almighty, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Well, that's pretty cool. I caught the panfish trifecta crappie yellow bass bluegill at least for this spot oh I'm in the weeds damn it I think I got it free 
bringing in a big gob of weeds. Wow. Six pound Omniflex. Let's get this off of here. There's a nibble. Come on, take it. Got him. Wow, look at all those minnows. <laughs> Scared a whole bunch of minnows away. That was cool. What do we got here? Bluegill. Nice bluegill here, seven and a half inches. Somewhere around there, good color. Really good color. There we go, what do we got here? Another bluegill, feisty bluegill. Big one. Nice big bluegill. Biggest bluegill of the day so far. Really nice colors too. Look at this guy. Got some of that copper and purple going through here. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but this is a gorgeous fish. Chad. Fish on. Another bluegill. Not gigantic. Yeah, a little six incher here. Gold and purple, kind of greenish. Interesting color. <laughs> Realistic fishing. Thank you, man. I love the channel, by the way. All right, just one or two more, and then I gotta go. I'd love another crappie, but I'm happy I got the trifecta. The spring panfish slam. I love this spot. Where else can you catch yellow bass, crappie, and big bluegill all in the same spot? Did you hear that bird? It's a loon. I'm casting out beyond the weeds to fish the other side. I might get snagged, but I want one more fish. Oh, I had a fish too. Damn it, did you see that? After that amazing display of acrobatics, I'm out of here. 
Well, Skeletor Park pays off again. I tried for some bass this morning. I didn't catch jack shit. I even tried for some panfish over at that other spot. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. Nada. Not even a bite. Came over here, Skeletor Park. Nailed the panfish trifecta. Crappie, yellow bass, bluegill. That's why I love this place. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.